Hello, greetings. This is me again, Zahra Jawad, Truth Seeker, Exia. Um, I have found this ayat in Surah Juma, <laughs> verse six, chapter sixty-two. <laughs> Muhammad is Allah. Say, O oh, you who are Jews, if you claim that you are allies of Allah, excluding the other people, <laughs> then wish for death if you should be truthful. As if Mubahila was not enough for me to go insane. Um. <laughs> you know, from Wikipedia bringing to my attention, from, oh my goodness. Now, Friends of Allah, allies, you see, Yusuf Ali translation, what the Muslims do, what Muhammad teach them, what Allah teach them. Now no one can be a friend of Allah, right? Only the Muslims, who all you Allah, they have no fear, but they are Muslims. Because now if any Jew so all these Jews in their own way, Christians rejoicing in their religion, Jews rejoicing in their religion, Muslims rejoicing in their religion. How can you? So it is not what I'm trying to say here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to say here that this is unfair. This ayat to blame the Jews because what the Muslims doing if you find out find out then the same law that Prophet Muhammad Allah give to us in this Surah Jumayat find out in the Quran Muslims are not told that some of them are all Allah friends of Allah no? Friends of Allah have no fear. And who are now these friends of Allah? But they fear Allah. Right? Who are these friends of Allah? Christians? Out of Islam? Jews? Sorry, I just put uh, chewing gum in my mouth. Ah, oh. so that's why my throat a little bit and getting cough. Say, oh, you who are Jews, if you claim that you are allies of Allah, excluding the other people like you are special. Bani Israel, you know, in the Old Testament, we are the chosen ones, Bani Israel, better than the Egyptians and all this going on. Something really wrong with this religion. And so also Islam. Now what I doing is I opening, sorry what? I open and crown. Now remember this ayat, right? Uh, Surah Juma, chapter 62. Verse 6. The previous one is saying those who, you know, were entrusted with the Mosaic law, but they failed because uh, they, they were evil. They denied and falsified the signs of Allah. So they did not come up to the obligations put on them. They, they, that they took upon themselves. They were charged with the obligations. So please, I'm not, uh, it's not regarding this verse. Now this verse, too, a different blame on the Jews. These are the Jews who say we are special. We are Israel, Zion, you know, from Zion. So now, or Israel. Now, uh, 
you know that uh, uh, righteous servant of Allah or whoever he's called in the Old Testament he fight with God or God's angel and they have his name changed from what to Israel which a prophet now mention even mentioned in, but in the whole story like that not mentioned just the name Hazrat Yaqub Yaqub Saint Joseph, Joseph, and uh, Jacob, Jacob. He fight in the tent. God coming and he fighting with him. He get a bit of a kick from God <laughs> on his, uh, you know, the side of the leg, and uh, he get a limp. But uh, his name change from now. From now on, you shall be called Israel. Israel? What? Let me just check. Okay, one point coming out. I don't know why this point come out. Forgot. Israel. Yeah, about the Jews being. Oh yes, here this point. Uh, this uh, Quran ayat. Please take this seriously because uh, you know it uh, is a very serious matter in this religion if you leave Islam and you publish these things against now your religion since you find out that it's not making sense and it's very dangerous and it is not good like mobile was enough what I saw in that about Prophet Muhammad and that he has even involved his children a uh, grandchildren seeing his sons and then the poor Christians, uh, does it feel right that you harass the people or you put them now, if, for example, very serious. Okay, I don't care if they kill me now, but I'm 53 and I had a different life. What if someone wants to live and is it, they'll say, is it worth it to die, to be killed? I mean, we can, death will come to all of us, but to be killed by these people, and your pro when your prophet, we see it that way, that he very, very unjust, most unjust, cruel, tyrant. Is it worth it that you come and kill me? See what your prophet has taught you, even Shias, very strict on this. You see now in Iran how they strictly abide by, make them, these women, girls by the for the hijab and all this this is unjust if you don't see it that I cannot I've I've given my reasons I've shown my sight now it is for but you know is it worth it huh is it worth it that they come to us and say, hey, what are you doing? And they don't say anything to Prophet Muhammad against him. God knows who, like Muhammad, come and kill us. And is it fair, tell me, what, what he did to the Christians of Najran? How he scared them? And if today here His Highness Sheikh Muhammad say, no, and his Highness Sheikh Muhammad cannot just say, he going to my Shia Akaf and saying, listen, you are allowing this, but uh, she not our Muslim, Sunni Muslim, she Shia Muslim, ex-Muslim, Shia. What shall we do with her? What is your, he yeah, at least have a little, you know, this thing. He go to the Akaf. He asked the Shia religious, I decide about me. They cannot decide. Because I'm not a Sunni, and I did not become an ex Sunni ex Shia, oh, ex Muslim. Oh, hey, what do you say about this uh, one? So, what what is the law? Then the Shia will decide. This is what the Dubai make for Shia Sunni problem. Oh no, Shia problem, ex Shia problem. Shia community problem? 
like my alim will come and uh, judge okay so according to my my school of thought now you tell me if they harass me and uh, they you know put the loudspeakers near and the putting uh, quran eyes even louder on the loudspeaker do you think they is this appealing to reason what the quran say oh even quran don't say uh, quran no no it is say uh, what oh people of reason or oh, people of understanding aqil <coughs> but tell me where the quran come to muhammad in his aqil or in his uh, fuad or m- What's the other word for heart? Trusted spirit, very brink. So on the other hand, uh, first, how we find the rev- how we even believe in the revelation? Because the Quran, I say first, uh, look at the signs, consider, reflect this, that. Use the reason, use your understanding powers, reasoning powers. like that and so faith will enter because we are told in al-kafi that without because the reason such intellect so powerful that when god told it to come it came when no one came when god told it to come no rock came no man came no this came no that came only reason intellect came no heart came i don't know a part intellect is part of the head heart i don't know but the, wherever these thoughts come from reason come from sorry that's where the intellect is so let's appeal to each other's reason instead of uh, you know scaring them and this thing you keep the scary words uh, verses away right now what other verses are there reason with them what if i show you regarding these verses reason with them with what the verses quran verses say what if i should show you that the reason itself is failing in the quran ayats right in the quran ayats reason itself is failing so remember surah 62 verse 6 Uh, yeah jews saying that we are f- favored by allah and it say here not even like excluding that okay exclude excluding the other people then wish for death if you the, okay maybe we thought that muhammad had uh, spoken to we were crazy to think that way because really death will come to all then wish for death do you think the jews are scared of dying death i mean death is an inevitable thing it will come unless you are you know at the right whenever god will take you but the thing is uh if you are murdered it the wrong so then wish for death you know many people jews they are like i believe in god coming to help me i mean i could have said god where are you huwe could have said god where are you safia bint huwe would have could have said the bani quraiza anyone got uh, rasulullah killed let's say yeah Let's say he didn't kill all the children and all this, but uh, whoever, you know, he's telling the Jews of Medina, or these Jews, and this Quran for all times. So just imagine the uh, Jews of uh, Bani Koreza or in Medina, he's saying, say, you say exclusive, if you claim that you are the allies of Allah, excluding, what allies, friends, and there are very exclusive There are only few people 
who are true friends of Allah. You know? Let's see if the Quran ayat, oh God, I have to go up a little. Open the tab. Open. Are Muslims special or not? Muslims, believers are special. So before going, okay, I will show you a verse. I can only remember this verse. Friends of Allah, friends of Allah. Have no fear. So, you know, I telling Muhammad, this Quran I took, I reminding your own Quran I to yourself. Friends of Allah, taqwa. Uh, so, Aliyah, where the uh, Quran verse where? Friends of Allah in Quran verses, please. Not Hadith. Have no fear. Friends of Allah. 55. Friends of Allah saying Taqwa. This is from my Shia side again. No fear or grief for the friends. Ah, Surah Yunus. Oh God, I go to. Behold, verily. No fear shall be upon the friends of Allah, nor shall they grieve. Now I'm going into this uh, Shia mind. Surah Yunus, Yunus, verse 61. And you are not engaged in any affair, nor do you recite any part from the Quran, nor any deed you mankind may be doing, but we are witness over you when you enter into it. Nor is there hidden from your Lord so much. Okay. Clear book, yeah. And then, oh no, I'm not going to this. I'm not reading the article. Behold, verily no fear shall be upon the friends of Allah, nor shall they grieve those who believe and constantly keep from evil. Let me see if I can find a verse where it says, say you are a special people who obey Allah. Of course. No, no, maybe not, but you will be safe from the fire that will be flipping your faces. You put that fear. He used that, uh, I feeling so angry, upset, broken, sad. What other words? Hmm. And let in, uh, not that their speech grieve you, verily the glory is holy Allah's. Okay, this ayat, grieve. Oh, you did not scare Prophet Muhammad. Behold, and the what, oh, you did not tell them how terrible they are, they are the worst of creatures. Who are the worst of creatures? So we go to Surah. Is it the Surah? I can. Uh, uh, Surah ba Baina. Oh. Yes, yes, here it, it says, I know, the disbelievers and the, those who do not. Even as Christians, people of the scripture and politics, were not to be parted from misbelief until there came to them clear evidence. Those who disbelieved, I have to really get the trans proper translation of this Quran ayat. Those who reject truth among the people of the book. Not were those who disbelieved Min. from Ahli. the people Al of the book Wal and the polytheists to be abandoned Hatta to be abandoned until there comes to them Al the clear evidence I'm confused. Let's see. Go ahead. Rasulun A messenger mina from Allah. Allahi this, Yani, 
now that's all the last gram is i think pages purified you know what she has with the mutahara this means not that the previous day corrupted and they're using no no this is that when the true signs have now come to you and from this messenger a messenger from Allah reciting purified scriptures within which are correct writings ruling the nose verse 3 verse 4 now of Surah Baina nor did those who were given the scripture become divided until after there had come to them clear evidence. Nor did those who were given the scripture become divided until Rasulullah came to them and this Quran. Clear scripture with plural, forget this, but now, okay, we may think, maybe I thought, you know, oh, when Christian, no, no. How can the Bible come afterward? So what I mean to say here is that I was a little bit confused. Nor did those who were given the scripture become divided. Like for example, when Jews, and then all of a sudden it changed to Jesus Christ. So now they became divided. When clear proof came that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, Jews said no. And now that the clear book is coming, here, this one, they have become, even the polytheists are divided. And how can you involve the polytheists in this? The pagan Arab idol worshippers not to believe in these scriptures, nor did the people of the book, people of the book, but Okay, so the, these uh, Jews and Christians who were also and among the polytheists. I go back to verse 1. Those who disbelieved among the people of the scripture, no, no, and the polytheists were not to be parted from misbelief until there came to them clear evidence. Verse 1 again. How are the polytheists involved in this? What book do they have? How? Oh, because the reasoning is about this, when the clear evidence come. Scripture here. Let me see. Al-Kitaba. Okay, Kitaba. Scripture come, become divided until after they had come to them clear evidence. Now, even the Jews and the Christians giving the sun worshippers, the polities, uh, you know, hard time. And in the Bible, but we are told they give Christians and they gave these prophets, one believers of, you know, one God, hard time, killing prophets and all this. Anyhow, verse 5, and they were not commanded except to worship Allah, being sincere to him in religion, in, inclining to truth. Okay, what if, what if, excuse me, they were not commanded except to worship Allah, sincere to him in religion. Worship no other than Allah, right? Do not associate anyone. What if they just worship Allah, sincere to him in religion? A wise man has come for him now, uh, what do you call it? Apostasy. They've called a wise man. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, so to worship Allah sincere term and in religion, <laughs> including inclining to truth and to establish prayer. What if I say I have my own prayer? <laughs> right? And I also give the car. <laughs> And that is the correct religion, <laughs> right? I pray my own way. I believe in one Allah, sincere devotion, commanded. <laughs> and uh, not believe in any prophet or anything. No. Okay. Wise person. I say, you see, this verse saying wise, <laughs> verse 5, and they were not commanded except to worship Allah. <sighs> right? Okay, I worship Allah. I tell Muhammad, I worship Allah. Sincere to him in religion. Like my deen, very, very sincere in the way of life. A deen, right? What is it called? <laughs> to him? See, not Islam, Dina, way of life. It is the way of life, religion. My way of life, my religion. My religion for me, your religion for you. Surah Kafirun. Okay, this is my way of life and this is why I need pro a prophet to tell me how to pray. You have your way, I have my way. Surah Kafirun. I do not believe. Oh, okay. No, no. I worship Allah, being sincere to Him in religion, inclining to truth, and to establish prayer. What my life, my work, my living, my waking up, my sleeping, all for Allah, I devote. That my prayer, I say. And to give zakah, I give charity. Not your way, my way. Please, thank you. You rem okay? Bye bye, Prophet Muhammad. Thank you. Let us leave. <laughs> and that is the correct religion. What is the criteria for correct religion? Al Qaima. That you establish uh, a straight Al Qaima. It the deen of qaima, zakato. So it is consists. Al qaima. Al qaima. Okay, from qaim comes correct qaim. Okay, upright and okay straight. Religion right and straight. Indeed, they who disbelieved among the people of the scripture, and the polytheists, will be in the fire of hell. Abiding eternally therein, those are the worst of creatures. You think you don't insult and give bad name to these people? Hmm? Worst of creatures. And if you go back to the Juma ayat, what I, what it say? Oh, I don't uh, say Jews. What it say? Exclusive. They think they are special allies of uh, excluding other people what muhammad do now you think you, don't you muslims think you are better than jews and christians i tell you a hundred percent but i want to find that i and give you a direct waking call indeed they who have believed and done righteous deeds, those are the best of creatures. Only it is said that, see, indeed they who have believed, what? Inna I will. Believe. Oh. So I say, okay, what? I believe. In Allah, 
you know, supreme power, Allah, okay, you call him Allah, I call him Allah also. All Christians at that time call him Allah, Abdullah, Ubaidullah, Christian head from Najran, some Abdullah, right? So indeed they who have believed, believed in what? And done the righteous deeds, I tell you what the Shias will tell you, what is a good deed. Now he wants a word for his Risalat. We have to go to Surah Shura, Ayat 23. Love of his near of kin. That's what the Shia count is, sources. Five. I mean, including Prophet Muhammad. Four. Ali, Fatima, Hassan, Hussein. And in the Mubahila verse, what are the status? I tell you what Imam say. Who are these special? They are the best of creatures. And if the Jews think they are the best because they believed in the Lord and they did not deny the signs of Allah, the Lord, Yahweh, at that time, they are the best. Criteria, same, right? In the Quran. See, why you blame the Jews? You from Abrahamic religion, your verses should not Allah blame the Jews for the special criteria. Excluding others. What are disbelievers? What are polytheists? The worst of creatures. Those who reject truth. Of course, then, among the people, meaning Christians, Jews, among the people of the book. And among the polytheists, mushrikun, mushrikeen here. Okay will be in the hellfire to dwell therein for a. They are the worst of creatures. And did you even give them worse? A punish you fire of hell. They will be in the hellfire to dwell therein. God knows for how long. Eternally they here. Baina Surah Baina verse six. No, no, yeah, will be in the fire of hell, abiding eternally therein. See, this word to word it says abiding eternally from the Quran ayat. So, Excuse me, I'm just bringing this phone nearer. Maybe my voice faint coming. What have you said here? In Surah Baina? What, you, what have you blamed the Jews for? That they are favored. Excluding others. The Israelis. Yeah? Why? Friends of Allah. Friends of Allah. They think they are allies of Allah. They believe. And then look at the Quranites, those who disbelieve. What happened? But here, very well put. I mean, you know, it is not coming. And the way, indeed, they who have believed and done righteous deeds. It doesn't say in Muhammad, but other verses. So please use your mind. Right now, I'm lacking because I'm tired perhaps uh, who are the best of creatures and what is the criteria for believers uh, what they have to obey Allah and they have to obey the messenger of Allah then who are they they are the best of creatures but here it just loosely put the, indeed, they who have believed, you know, they who have believed, Shias will tell you. They who have believed in what? Vilayate, Faki. Now, Shias, go ahead. 
further. What are the ones who have believed? Special. Imam Ali's followers, Shia of Ali? What are they? Oh, Ali, you and your Shias. Rasulullah's hadith. <coughs> you are the triumphant. You and your Shias will be the triumphant. Yeah? Best of creatures. Who are the Shias of Ali? Special. Forget them now uh, that I go to some ayat of friend of Allah, but I just show you the friend of Allah is here in the Quran. And it means the Muslim from among the believers. Okay? So, and just shall I show you his bullah? But here, best of creatures. You see, read this, these ayats. Do your Please, then you tell us that we are bad and wrong. Now I open a new tab. Hezbollah. The party of Allah are the, what Hezbollah. So all this, and if you do not uh, obey Hezbollah, no, political party, but Quran ayat. Coming. Quran verse. Please give. Google search. Mujadala. Is it in Allah's party is bound to succeed? Yes? Will the, are, how do you think Quran I say? How do you judge? When Allah telling you, look, how do you read, think, judge? Are not the good ones going to getting deserving paradise? And the bad ones who reject his signs going to hell. And the good ones who accept his signs are going to paradise. So, that verse coming earlier, earlier video I was going through. Maybe Surya Anam, I don't know, Furqan or Hud. You will never find the people who truly believe in Allah in the last day loyal to those who defy Allah and his messenger. Even if they were their parents, children, siblings, or extended family. For those believers, <coughs> Allah has instilled faith in their hearts and strengthened them with the spirit from Him. He will admit them to gardens under which rivers flow. Even Allah favors them. So in other words, what and uh, uh, to stay there forever. Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Him. And they are the party of Allah. And those, Hizbu. Hizbu? Allahi. Hizbu Allahi. Hizbullah in Lebanon. Party of Allah. There were, here, they get this uh, from Mujadila, verse 22. Yes? Favored, of course, excluding other people. Some, he blames Jews for being friends of Allah and excluding other people. Of course they're going to exclude those people because they deny that the Moses is the prophet, Sabbath is to be, you know, like this. They are going with the laws of Allah, Mosaic laws. And those who deny the Mosaic laws and the signs of Allah, they will be excluded from the mercy of Allah too. And the curse is on them, Mubahila. In other words, very directly put by me, and with a spirit from him, this extra, I really want this spirit. I wanted it before I go insane. Spirit here can mean revelation, light, or help. 
This is from Muslim footnote. What? Ruh Allah? Radiya. Radiya. Messenger of the... And even now, strengthen them with the Spirit from Him. Jesus Christ, Christ other words, was strengthened by the Spirit. So yeah, just for, as, with the spirit from him. This is a long ayat. I have to see where. Where was before this? Sorry, sorry. For those believers, Allah. Faith. Okay, I'll check later. This is not important for this. But in other words, uh, roundabout, uh, if I could find it, I'm tell, explaining, showing you, please see, that the, why he blamed the Jews in Surah Jumahayat, that uh, they exclude, uh, everyone is excluded now, since Muhammad and his book has come, and the revelation has come. Except for those who obey him, believe in him. See, Surah, what? Surah Fat Ayat. Right? What you do now? You think this reverence or whatever in this ayat, I keep forgetting the number. Remember how he threatened. Jews make them wrong, blame them, when he do it himself, with his believers. Say, if you, follow, if you love Allah, follow me, I will. But not then like this direct, if I can find, I will come back for it. If I can find that direct verse. I give you Baina, it's a little bit direct, not so much. Indeed, we have given you, o Muhammad, a clear conquest. Ah, favor upon you. What will follow? And complete his favor upon you and guide you to the... So now you have Allah's favor too. You, what it mean? You, Allah's favor. Okay. Allah may aid you with a mighty victory. Maybe you don't understand these verses properly. But I now see through. It is he who sent down trying of and that he may admit believing where no, I forget nine. Look. And that he may punish the hypocrite men, hypocrite women, and the polities men and the polities women, those who assume about Allah an assumption of evil nature. If the Jews said this what would Muhammad tell them if he, they had done this? But he couldn't. He couldn't say, oh, you say eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth. And you killed her for Allah's sake. Okay. You know what I mean? I just uh, don't complete my sentence. Go on. Allah, an assumption of evil nature upon them is a misfortune of evil nature. And Allah has become angry with them and has cursed them and prepared for them hell. Now who the chosen of Allah? Who the chosen? Who Mustafa? Tell, tell me, who Muhammad and Mustafa? Excluding all others. <laughs> who Muhammad and Mustafa? Chosen one. Favored. What do you mean by favoring in Surah Juma? Excluding others in no, only on friend of Allah. Let me, oh, no, no, I checked the Arabic word, it's Aliya, Allah. And to Allah belong the soldiers of the heavens and the earth. Oh, goodness. Indeed, we have sent you as a witness. And the book, okay, it's coming, nine. What is, and that you people may believe, may believe in what? For there it say believe in Allah. Here it say that you people may believe in Allah and His Messenger. And what else you do with this Messenger? 
you special people, believers, then you become true believers. Hey, here, this command here, please see this. <coughs> and his messenger, and honor him, and they respect him, I the Prophet, and exalt him, I Allah, morning and afternoon. Why Abu Bakr say if you worship Muhammad, then no, he's because there were people who worshipped Muhammad. They took this ayat. Let me tell you directly now. I've had enough. <coughs> I'm not making assumptions or presumptions or this, that, guesswork. I'm telling you from this ayat, you certainly worship Messenger of Allah. So please, don't go telling bad things to Jews about them, what the Quran write, and you become Muslim. You excluded this and you excluded that. Yeah, Muhammad's followers and Dawa people and God knows what. Shia and others. That you people may believe in Allah and His Messenger. And honor Him and they respect Him. I the Prophet and exalt Him. I Allah. Your translations are not making you wrong. Morning and afternoon. What? Surah Tawbah, verse 31. Not putting it, trying to exp explaining itself away. No, no, this means Allah. No, no, this don't mean Allah. What you because this is sabhi, sabhi. What to sabhi. And it have a H. That's why. Who? Who? Double. But, see, what to raqi, raqi, ruhu. So why double huhu here? Because this have a H in the end. This sabbi. What to sabbi huhu? Sabbi huhu. That's why it's huhu. Not because it is Allah. And this uh, Rob Christian right, exalt him morning and afternoon. See, transliteration, because what to sabbe, sabbe, who, who, for every word, they put in the end like respect, who, 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 like that, you know, see. What to care who? Wait. Who? Ruhu. You see the end they take this. I show you. Ruhu. You see? Ruhu. End. Ruhu. Again. End. Ruhu. Because sub B have H here. Right? Oh, so I show you two. You see, this transliteration. I show Facebook live stream. I'm there too. Um, see, it have sub B, H, hoo hoo, that's why double hoo hoo. Roo hoo and Ruhu, do you get it? Last time I say no, it say who? Sabihuhu meaning Allah. No, maybe Arabic word put like this. That no. This means, and you know, this means that uh, Prophet exalt Prophet. You should see. This have flash on so. Let me just see if I can, uh, that you people focusing into, and that you people may believe in Allah and His Messenger. I'll believe in Allah and His Messenger. And honor Him. And they respect Him. Why they put, you know, because they, and exalt Him. 
morning and afternoon. You get it? Let me show you again. That you people may believe in Allah and his messenger. Allah come first. Believe in Allah and his messenger. And honor him. Meaning this messenger. Why you, why, why are you doing this? Why? You know. وَرَسُولِ رَسُولِهُ وَاتُو أَزِرُ See? That you may honor him, respect him, and exalt him. But here, they lie to you. These translation letters, they are like. And if you kill a murder, you become a murderer. And I try to save you. Because I don't know what is for you who kill apostates. What the, that true God doing to you. Shia Sunnis altogether. So stop it now. Stop this. Please stop it. Deceiving and fooling people and covering up Quran ayat where you say so much that no, no, don't even touch it, only the pure can touch it. You are, you, you know, you don't, you can't temper, but you have tempered, and you want to believe what you want to believe, and you want to see what you want to see. And this is the way Muhammad made you. And then you go and you kill people. Assault them. Find them. Wait in ambush for them. Harass them. Seize them. Will you do this to this one who has lied on this verse, translation? You wouldn't. Because it serves your ego, your security is this. Muhammad made you angry people who could not uh, tolerate anyone. Yet, you make a mistake here, it is an unintentional mistake. You know how many, it, uh, here it not mean I, Allah, it mean Muhammad. It mean the messenger of Allah. Exalt him, morning and afternoon. Please, I'm tired of this. Okay? And then you, your Shias, my Shias come, assaulting people and sexually assaulting and this and that. And you're taking no action. And you're saying like, Ahlul Bayt did sabr, you also do sabr. I put in your this right, what Muhammad want. He want to be worshipped. It's a Quranite here, Quranite. What the uh, Rob Christian also pointed out. So he could save. The Christians want to save themselves. The Shias want to say they are right. And I want to say, even the Shias are wrong. Not I want to say, but Shias also deceive us. Surah Tawbah, Ayat 31. Shias kept quiet on that. How come in, in Surah Abbasa they make, they change the, no, not in a Quran like this. The, the prophet frowned. No, no, no. But we take your Quran, Sunni Quran in hands. Huh? They make sure they correct that about what the Sunnis write. 
followers of Umayya in Surah Abbasa. Abbasa. Abbasa, right? I always mis mispronounce it. Now, please come to your senses. Can I be wrong? If I say no, it is not Ayala. Can I be wrong? No. You leave me alone and you leave the murtads alone who are sharing the truth. Can I be wrong in saying? Look at it carefully. Nowhere does it put again Allah here. In one breath and his messenger and honor him, respect him and exalt him morning and afternoon. Not Allah. How it do from Rob Christian explain how it goes from here to now, the last one going to the first, believe in Allah. So you exalt him. Okay, you know Ahmad who exalted Allah in his uh, Ahmad coming in this. I also catching you on another way, in another way. Let me see, let me see. Huh? You, she has like this. Okay, oh, this is not Chrome. Ahmad. Ahmad praised Allah. You will see now he deserves to be praised morning and evening. Ahmad in the Quran. Exalt, glorify. In other words, also wait. Can you see that how he put a blind? You thinking or maybe even making a mis unintentional mistake. <laughs> Scholars of uh, the Quran, experts in the Quran, huh? expert knowledge, translators. The name Ahmad, variant of Muhammad, is mentioned one time in the Quran. What does the Quran say about Ahmad? And it says here, uh, name Muhammad 33. Is it uh, sent by Allah? Uh, so Wikipedia, because the um, chain of prophets sent by Allah. And what it say about Mah Ahmad? Uh, that he was uh, praising Ahmad. Praising Allah, sorry, I just slip off. They ask about the second. Uh -huh. So... Ahmad, I don't, I'll have to search. If I could get just directly Ahmad in Quran verse, where is it? Please give me the Ahmad. I am sent, I am the messenger of Allah sent to you, confirming the law which came before me and giving glad tidings of a messenger to come after me, whose name shall be Ahmad. But when he came to them with clear signs, they said this is evident sorcery. Now it doesn't say that he praised it must be a hadith then, but this Ahmad comes uh, one one time in the Quran. Uh, just a note from Korah. I don't know who has written this. The word Ahmad is not mentioned in any part of the Bible, so no biblical prophet ever predicted a future prophet named Ahmad, Jesus. Because this refers to, you know, if you see the previous verse, that uh, Jesus Christ say. So, like that, right? And uh, then, uh, what else is there? Oh, no, Ahmad. See, it doesn't say Ahmad uh, praise. This all in Hadith. So, you know who you exalt? Allah, exalting Muhammad. You exalt Muhammad morning and evening. 
this, in other words, it, and you, what the reverence mean? If the word honor or reverence, deep respect for someone or something, deep respect. What do you mean? Like you worship? We got treat with, uh, okay, showed honor and reverence for the dead. Squand one. Uh, deep respect for someone or something. And uh, help him, assist him. Prophet Muhammad. Christians there, polity is there, looking at each other. Nigerian Christians, looking at Jews for any signs of oppression or in Medina, you know. And uh, polity is in Makkah. Because, hello, Rasulullah, um, we can bear witness. Oh, we we believe what he say the wise Christian man of Najran. What he say? He's a prophet. Please, he's a prophet. What have you done? He's a prophet. Like he must be shocked at the children. Child he has brought in his arm, Hussein, the silver. Mobile, back to mobile. What have you done? Why did you? He does not mean that why you uh, went in, he invited you and you came. Why you accept his? And of course, you'll say these Christians are invited, they did not come. They, do, they turn away, they turn the faces away, they ridicule, they just that. They, they don't want to hear. But what a short heaper to condition, cursed, accursed, wherever they are found. No, no, accursed, right? And what a... So, oh, you'll go to... Oh, and uh, so, reverence meaning... And you see, worship, worship, worship. Please, see this. Then... Okay, I'll do more on this. More, give it to you. So please don't say that we are wrong and we are falsely accusing Muhammad and all this. And that the police uh, respect my Muhammad, the silver vine. Uh, don't say anything about Islam. Come on, who are you kidding? We are the cursed, you know very well. If we don't follow him, what we become? Worst of the creatures. Even if we follow the past the scriptures from Ali Kitab or policies, policies, gone cases, anyways. Worst of the creatures. So please see this also. And the mobile. Let me just show you what I was saying. Mobile. Hello, hello. Yeah? Sunnis want to hide this, you know? Why? The verse in Ali Imran, they don't commemorate. They, they don't celebrate it like Eid. They don't even celebrate at all. Why? They run away from this. And Shia say, totally gone cases, this. Why gone cases? Because, not the Shia say, but what Prophet Muhammad and his household said. See, Harun Rashid, tradition states that the Christians were surprised when they saw Muhammad's family, Ali, Fatima, Hassan and Hussein, accompanying Muhammad. Christians were surprised and according to the traditions decided not to invoke a curse on Muhammad and others. What this Wikipedia? No, no. I want the Wikishia. Wikishia, Wikishia. Wikishia, event of Mabahala, is an event in Islamic history in which the Prophet and Christian delegation from Najran met to do. Okay, the religious reveal who was lying, the Quran term Mabahala is mentioned as a decisive solution to the dispute of a prophet Isa being one of the trinity or not. Between, okay, that's good. The prophet suggested Christians of Najran to do Mubah Allah, and they accepted. 
what the meaning ba bahalahu allah means allah okay so i just want to see the difference victorious in this the prophet became victorious in this event we all rejoice yes all celebrate eid mobile mobile eid cursed eid we are the blessed under his umbrella and his progenies the occasion of prophets mabahala and all this inviting claim inviting to islam but also showing the position of his family members since he introduced them along alone introduced them alone among all his companions and relatives therefore that event is among the merits of the alal bayt e alayhi salam meaning but not anymore the encounter of i mean i don't say it the encounter of mabala happened on azul okay date not important <laughs> and look mabala means to curse each other for example bahala hu allah means may allah curse him and keep him away from his mercy nothing mentioned about uh, the scarcity of water or anything here wikishia means cursing and damning each other to people or two parties who believe they are right to placate before god and ask him to curse the liar so that everyone knows who is the right i mean this is just you know story arg verse should anyone argue with sunishia so, exists a verse verse coming I mean, oh goodness! Uh, comp- now she is stuck in this. Where they stuck? Amr bin Saad bin Abi Waqas narrates from his father Saad bin Abi Waqas that he was asked by Mawia, "Why do you not curse Ali?" They want to make sure you find this out. So it said while i remember three things i would not curse him and if uh, so this mubahala third which is that when the verse revealed to the prophet ourselves by imam by imam al qazim harun al rashid told imam al qazim how do you claim that you are the progeny of the prophet while the prophet had no progeny and uh, so he narrated this uh, bibi maryam verse and we have not omitted anything from the book quran verse okay and so you regard yourself needless to analogy or scholars opinions imam al qazim said do you allow me to answer harun said yes imam said i seek the protection of allah against the outcast satan in the name of allah the all beneficent the most merciful we gave him isaac jacob and guided each of them no. imam explained and then and isa elias elijah each of them among the righteous okay imam continued who was the father of jesus harun answered jesus did not have a father imam said then god joined him to the progeny of prophets only through mary and has joined us the same way through our mother fatima to the progeny of prophet should i continue harun said the say then imam recited the al mubahala verse and they said no one has ever said that the prophet but how do i know that uh, uh, ismail the true imam or uh, imam musa kazim you the true imam hmm? or the bori zai the true imam god daud ibrahim uh, oh sorry daudi bori daud sorry so then imam recite oh see harun said say then imam recited that the al mubahala verse and said no one has ever said that 
the Prophet took anyone other than Ali, Fatima. How are you from the progeny of uh, Rasulullah? And how do we know that you are the true Imam? I would ask another question like that. How do we know? You are the, from the progeny, but how do we know them? Many from the progeny now, right? I don't know. Cloak when he was going to Mubahala, under the cloak. That's why our sons, the Quran meant Hassan and Hussein. By our women, the Quran, Quran meant Fatima, and by our soul, the Quran meant Ali ibn Abu Talib. Therefore, in Mubahala first, God referred to Imam al Hassan and Imam al Hussein as the sons of the Prophet. And this is the most obvious reason that you remember adopt the son case wherever God want he make the son now tell me if she are come here and tell me that the Zara blood the relationship nearer and adopted son not a now grandson making him son making him father. He's stripping Ali. Like he making Ali a part of him. What is going on? There's something one, one with Ali. There's something really funny going on here. Once Al Mamun told Imam Raza that tell me the greatest merit of Imam Ali mentioned in Quran. Imam al rida said his merit is Muba'ala. Then Imam recited the Muba'ala verse and they said the Prophet called Hassan and Hussain who were his sons and the Lady Fatima who is reference for women in this verse. Very, very clever Prophet, I tell you. Now his Allah calling Hassan and Hussain is the grandfather's sons, not even grandchildren. They actually his grandchildren. You understand what's happening? Only Shia understand this. Even Sunni not understand and they hide. They hide this. Very, very good, I tell you. Mamun, they're caliph, Abbasid caliph. Sunnis follow Mamun. Abbasid caliph. Women in the verse and Imam Ali was the soul of the Prophet. In the word of God. In the word of God. I ask, come now to Surah Azab. I ask, what is word of God? When the Palestinians divorce their wives, they say back, you are like at the back of a mother's or something, what the words in. And uh, this, uh, this word of God. Even though in blood and everything, genealogy, blood, actually Hassan and Hussein, grandsons. What God say in Surah Azab? Please be very careful. Your okay, he said there that, that, no, no, how can you, this stupid, okay, you made an unintentional mistake, but how can you give your inheritance? And they take, a, he's not your real, he's not your real son. And the, the blood have the, the right, according to God. No, even if naturally, blood, son. <sighs> Reference, I, I just don't know how to put it. Maybe someone articulate can help me. In this verse in Imam, I'll find a true one, wise man, Christian. Or maybe a wise um, ex-Shia Muslim. And then I will come with her or him. Who is the soul of the Prophet in the word of God? Imam Ali, who is the soul of the Prophet? In the word of God. Words of God can make his son-in-law cousin uh, the soul of Nafse Rasulullah. Soul of the Prophet. I say, wow, God.
what you did to that. What you say about politics. No, politics, if they divorce, they say you back for... No, forget it. You are never going to be. What you made Umul Mumineen. Now they cannot even... Aisha so young, Prophet Muhammad died when maybe she now reaches some... Even if, let's say, she was older than what the Shias... <sighs> some Shias, actually the modern time. But uh, anyways, maybe if she... Let's say she uh, got married to Prophet Muhammad when he was 54 years old. And that uh, she was uh, 19. Even then, if he died, when did he die? Which age? So he was 51. Let's say he was 49 years old. And Aisha was 19. So women look older to men, they say, you know. Women look older to men. And the men should, uh, should uh, you know, men be, look younger. And women get older soon. Men, men say, oh my God, I look so young. I look younger than women. I think I need a younger woman. What this nonsense. You know what I mean in this is so. In the word of God. And it is known that no one in creation is higher than the prophet. But the favored not, excluded not, others. You have excluded others' families. Love of his kinship is a command. If you don't, Surah Shura, Ayat 23. Shia say it is a command. It is not a, like, you know, Sunnah or something. It is obligatory. Sunni say no. It is not obligatory. It is known that oh, what the love of so this means that we have to go to Maharam Majlis for Imam Hussain. It is known that and many other things like this. And it is known that no one is creation is higher than the Prophet. Then according to the word of God, no one should ever be higher than the soul of the Prophet. Imam Ali this high, Imam Reda say, Vikishia, in Mubaila, explaining the verses of Mubaila, in the Quran, from the Quran, Ayat Al Imran. And then Al Mamun said, uh, God has brought expression, our sons in plural form, while the Prophet brought only two of his sons, and also our women. Is plural. See why our Mamun Rashid not getting it. Brought only two of his sons and also women. To only brought uh, only his daughter. Our women is plural. While the Prophet only brought on his daughter. Thus, why sh why should uh, not we say that? Uh, Calling our souls would also mean only the Prophet himself. Therefore, the merit you mentioned about Imam Ali would become void. Now what Imam Radha give him answer? Imam Radha say, said, Imam Al-Rida said, Your argument is uh, wrong. How? Because a caller calls someone other than himself, other than himself, maybe other than Allah also. <laughs> that what? Because a caller calls himself other than himself. Okay, like when a commander commands someone other than himself, and it is not all right if someone calls himself in reality. Oh, meaning that verse, yeah. That he would not just say, ah, let us, he's the commander, he's calling them. Rasulullah, right? Allah is saying, say, third person, what is going on? Okay, I am confused. 
in reality, a little a while also, no one can order himself. He cannot order himself. And since the Prophet did not call any man in Mubahala other than Imam Ali, then it is confirmed. What about the women, plural? God only knows. Wait. Then it is confirmed that he is the sole God referred to. He is the sole God they refer to. In his book, in order about it there. Okay. Then Al Mamun said, with the answer, the questioner destroyed. Like this is out there. No, no. Mamun, you are not destroyed. Don't worry about it. My logic. I really something's mobile verse. Let us read it again. I'm too confused. <laughs> so, women plural. He bring only one woman because uh, she women she woman of Sayyid uh, Atanasal Alamin. She is the women of. Uh, she is the. She's above all women. She is plural. It is just like we. I not come, we come. You know, like they talk in a majestic manner. Like their majesty, her majesty, plural. That's why uh, Fatima Zahra, the queen of paradise, mistress of paradise. That's why, plural. You understand? All of them must be worshipped. Okay? Now, I get lost for some time. And may God put some thing. So what am I saying? Talking to whom? Hmm? My principal? Come out of it. And all my beloveds that I adore, that I want you to never go after anyone who scares people and the lies if slight history come please look at it slight history like the international they don't see we could share how they we totally gone case we don't know we involved in this harun rashid mamun rashid how important Rasulullah and his Allah, we don't realize the. It says some women may be cursed, but look how in detail these foreigners. Every fact, everything recorded here. Please do your own research now that you have on the fingertips. So, 1400 years, and if we say anything against Prophet Muhammad, or we say, you know, the Quran ayat, I don't, you know, I could not imagine. I could not imagine if someone told me this Quran I had something not to write here, I would probably scream and shout and say, What? I cannot imagine. Like, let's suppose if someone tell me something and I say, No way, no way, Jose, no way it can happen in my Quran that it have a wrong this or that. Like Zara, four witnesses required for Zina. Where the woman going? Woman's right in adultery lapsing. Because then what is she? If she fails to produce four witnesses, she to death, or let's say hundred. What hundred, you know? What four witnesses? What if rape happened to her? And she failed. You know the burden on whom? Woman? Whoever bring the burden on them or... I don't know, something i have confused about now. Let me give you a, like a... No, let me give you another example. In the Quran, like someone tell me something that uh, this Quran, 
verse, not to write. Only one verse you give me, and the, uh, I say, can't be. Can't be. And uh, I know my religion. Can't be. Right? Like, not blindly wish yours. Look through for all sides. Trust that our religious scholars. And the way when I do Shia, I already mentioned that. But here now my throat going dry. <coughs> Muhammad's household. Modern understanding. Why have I come to Mubaila again? I'm going to Jumayat. But you know how the like the inter event of Mubaila from Sunni side, Sunni Hadith side. You see, if one... You see, modern understanding. You see, they don't read this, then they cry on Imam Hussain. Scarcity of water. When I read this, I realize that uh, this prophet, if you go through it, if, see, I realize the, see how they say it. Before I have an accent, I'll try not to, not to go crazy, demented. I've taken a D3 vitamin. Uh, let me see. I'll try to be serious about this if I can, but it's really hurting me. Um, uh, notes. Um, uh, son of God claim. Traditionally, it was uncommon for mobile. I, uh, wait a minute, let me just background. See, Roman Church. A letter, a delegation was sent to Muhammad. To that letter, it, a, a response, in response to that letter, a delegation was sent to Muhammad. Okay, delegation arrived, religion, theology, subject turning to Jesus, Christian. Uh, this is not enough. Indeed, the example of Jesus in the sight of Allah is like that of Adam. He created him from dust, then said to him, be, and he was. This is the truth from your Lord. So do not be one of those who doubt. Now, whoever disputes with you, a prophet concerning Jesus. Look at this. Now, uh, Mubahala. Mubahala. Muhammad demands two sides engage in Mubahala. Demanding. Christ Christians returned to the place they were staying. I skip some words, huh? Like the Christians from Wikipedia I'm reading. If he challenges us. So their leader, Al-Sayyid, Al-Aqib, advised them, saying, if he challenges us with his people, we accept the challenge, for he's not a prophet. But if he challenges us with his family in particular, we don't challenge him, for he's not going to put forward his family unless he is truthful. This coming from Sunni. At the Muslim side, Okay, so let's suppose he even said this. Zain, Sami, Atif. Okay, where this? Uh, Jami, Pee, uh, Pee, Jami. Don't know what that is. For he is not going to put forward his family unless he is truthful. The morning of 24th Sol Hijjah, Muhammad emerged at the appointed time. He brought only selected members of his family, carrying Hussein in his arm with Hassan holding his hand. He bringing small children, followed by Fatima and Ali. You can imagine as Shias, I mean, we had to think. We could not question this. He's bringing children. Tradition states that Christians were surprised when they saw Muhammad's family. Because you see that the Quran, Ayat, and all that discussion fail. He cannot convince the Christians by the reasoning he gives in the Quran. Quran, Allah, he says, Allah is giving him. He fails. And then he says, okay, now verse, a curse. So we said when everything exhausted with the Christians, then came the cursing. 
okay, that the letters put the curse on the liars. So when the reasoning failed, when the Quranites failed to convince, because they tell you the truth, the Quranites also failed to convince me. I always felt something was wrong here. When I read, when I comprehend properly, the Quran ayats are difficult, you know. Like, O Prophet, concerning Jesus, after full knowledge has come to you. What full knowledge? That his mother was, his mother's name was Maria. That his, uh, that uh, Maryam's mother's name was Hannah. It is not even written in the Quran that Hannah, she, it was just this lady who prayed this righteous servant of his, God's, to God, and to dedicate, and if he make her, give her a child, then she dedicate, but they, she see that, oh my God, it is not a son, it is a daughter. She surprised. She pray for a son, he who she expect that the son come born to her. Now, okay, so this about the uh, Jesus' mother a lot. Zachariah became her guardian. All these verses were told, Ali Imran. You know, like I see a dream that they're sitting outside in a field. Sand, and uh, sitting, and there were Ali Imran, just to show you. This, uh, and, uh, but from, there are other verses too in other surahs, sorry, other surahs about this, the mud, uh, maybe Bibi Maryam being on high, you know, in spring and uh, all this, and how she gave birth, like uh, she was not with, in that uh, place, she was uh, alone, she gave birth, and how, she, uh, three day, you know. So I, I'm right now out of my English. Everything, my mind, my mind is here. I cannot explain that. I'm, right? Or no? You want more? Christians return to the place. My mind blocked. I just uh, have to read here. If it because I'm being attacked now. Challenge him. I just had this kind of okay, so the morning of okay, I'll try to straighten my accent. Muhammad offered to do Mubahala. Muhammad um let's see, the morning appointed time he brought only selected members of his family. So after having all this discussion, Quranites came and they saw they were still not uh, this. I don't know whether it mentions here. So I forgot. Sayyid al Akib advised them, saying, if he challenges us with this. Okay. No, no, I read this. Sorry. Muhammad offered to do the Mubala, asking each conflicting party to cover themselves with a cloak and that all parties ask God sincerely to destroy and inflict with curses what can a cloak what can a cloak do, do you know to take you away uh, the three four sides and that all parties ask god sincerely to destroy and inflict with curses on the lying party and their families okay so on the lying party and their families, the Christians consulted each other. And Abdul Haris ibn al Qama, a scholar among them, talked them out of carrying out the Mubahala. Like you said, you know, look, there are Jews still in Medina and other places, but concentrate. There are Christians of Najran and Egyptian Christians in Egypt and uh, you know uh, idol worshippers now can we say for Christian uh, Jews can 
if Jews were involved. So many different variety. I don't know who the true prophet is, but we most certainly believe that Christ was. We have evidence. And if Muhammad exploit this, then gone case, which they were. I don't know how to explain this, but uh, you know, they don't have, like Jews are not coming to Christ because he's failing in some signs, according to the Jews' book, scriptures. So Muhammad can really exploit this. But when they were living, they were living in peace. Except for these skirmishes we were from the Muslim, I, I disclaimer. Because no one ever did something like this in the polytheism in Mecca as polytheists or in Medina as Jews to these Christians. And he now saying all your books, yeah. He telling them, I'm the last prophet that uh, the it is in the Bible, it is in Jews waiting for their Messiah, couldn't accept uh, Christ. So he to bring himself in like such, I tell you, he excellent, excellent cunning. Yes. But I should... Let me show you. This is excellent. This is the highest satanic thing I've ever seen in my life. And we, she are saying, no, no, no one can bring their family into an imprecation curse. Even the Christians surprised. No, Zahra, he true. Hussein was this small or this small, or this small. When, and he's carrying Hussein in his arm. So, I don't know, we don't know. And the Christians refused. So Muhammad gave them the two alternatives. What? The Christians consulted, talked them out of carrying out the Mubahala. The Christians refused to curse Rasulullah. These poor Christians, they refused to say, whoever is the liar will, okay, so if it is. So mom, I don't know, okay, I just can So Muhammad gave them two alternatives, either to convert to Islam or pay the jizya, a tax on free non-Muslims under... <gasps> The Christians agreed to pay tribute and asked Muhammad to send with them a trustworthy man to aid them in judging monetary disputes amongst themselves. <laughs> Muhammad is said to have agreed and appointed. It's like shoving the, you know, no, I'm not hungry, please, thank you. My stomach is full. You know, you are. No, no, but I tell you, you're even worse than this. Muhammad is said to have agreed and appointed Abu Ubaida ibn al Jarrah. Okay, I read this. Accounts of Christians' response. response. The earliest Islamic testimonials, historians, protectors. A dialogue. Okay. Ibn Isaac reports in Sirat al Nabi that the delegation's leaders convinced of Muhammad's prophethood and advises cursing Muhammad would be a disaster. Okay, now Christian historians, oh, Muslim historians like, you know, giving their own opinion. In Muqatil, the Christian leader simply says that in any scenario, cursing Muhammad would be disastrous. I don't know why they have this, why they are convinced that Prophet if Muhammad is a true prophet, why don't they embrace it, his religion? But I really think that they played it diplomatically and tried to save themselves from maybe his wrath, like burning. Because here in the uh, notes, notes we are told, 
there's some text here. Uh, no, the, the, from by Allah. He addressed his people. No, that's the, uh, see Gordon Maker. We will make peace with you. Uh, cursing Muhammad would be disastrous. Challenging. Okay, and obey you and make peace with you. We think it proper not to curse you. We may order, you may order us as you like, and you shall, we shall obey you and shall make peace with you. Ibn Sa'd. And if another hand, he's the king, he will, I already read this, but so the prophet made agreement with them on these conditions, and he said, by him, in whose hand is my soul, surely destruction had almost descended on the people of Najran. And if they had entered, this Rasulullah seeing himself, Prophet Muhammad, and if they had entered into imprecation, they would have been transformed into monkeys and pigs which is from referring to the ayat also. And there would have erupted in the valley a conflagration of the fire engulfing them all. It's a pity I didn't read this long time ago. Mobila, in detail, in this way. Uh, where does this come from? Notes, so I checked references. In references, like you check Wikipedia, valley erupted. The, the clue is coming here. Like he can even burn this valley. But he'll say God did it, you know. What? Prophet Muhammad himself is saying that would have erupted in the valley a conflagration of fire engulfing them all from all sides like fire right what is a conflagration and surely and then going in hmm? or from out inside come going out to the borders and finishing burning the whole village ashes Engulfing them all, and you, like can at I'm getting. Uh, let me see. Am I on? No, I'm not uh, on. No. Chrome. Conflagration of fire. I don't know this conflagration. How this can? What is the meaning of conflagration, of fire? Engulfing. I know them all, like. Coming out from all sides or what? From meteorites? Huh? God sending what the erupted in the valley would have erupted. There would have erupted, erupted I know, in the valley like a conflagration of fire engulfing them all. And surely Allah would have annihilated Najran and its inhabitants, even the birds on the Treetops. Remember, we used to talk about uh, Karbala and Rasulullah. It is said in some a uh, battle of uh, Badr or some. You know, don't don't hurt trees. No green grass. No this, right? No tree. No plant. No woman. Keep them away, children. No bird, but this totally, this uh, the Shia Sunnis may be saying, you know, coming from the enemy of Allah. This wrong about the Rasul, Rasulullah. No, no, never said something like this. But I say, please, he said, okay, how can he? How can he what? Quran ayat's not there? Quran ayats are not there. Massacre, slay them, slaughter them, seize them, tie them, 
kill them, find them, meet them when you meet them, wait in ambush for them. Conflagration of fire engulfing them all. Okay. Uh, no, I had said there. And you can check the reference where it is written. Uh, so, good for you, Shiaz. Very good. But I have uh, really, I wash my hands off. Uh, may God, I'm not uh, talking big. I don't talk big. I hope not. But, I mean, if they harass me and torture me here, and they say they're going to kill me, you know, I don't know now, but uh, I would not embrace this religion with my heart. Uh, so, I'm not even well to wash my face properly. Sometimes, not every day, every day, not every day, but, uh, you know, like, if they, <laughs> I can't pray, but I might uh, give in to the Shia, you know, killing of apostates. Like, if they kill me, this time, I won't let them in. Because uh, now I change, I take a U-turn, like Imran Khan, they say, took a U-turn once. So, you know, I said, even if they kill me, cut me into pieces, I will not come to this religion. But uh, now I look at, uh, I don't know, sometimes my, oh, I'm not, you know, like, uh, I'm like this Rasulullah, not like the over, you know, wives annoying them, him, what did he, I mean, he had to please him, please them, sorry, Surah Tari, when Rasulullah, when the, uh, the wives are annoying him when he give in. It's okay, okay. I promise you I will not say anything against, you know, like. So I see a very, very cunning, clever. And the followers, you could go insane. Psychopaths. We never know who's, you know, free from psychopathy. Because there has been a tsunami of uh, covert nurses, even in our Shia, like psychopaths. Uh, so, you know, they could say, oh, we believe we are Sayyids, please. We were not allowed to say anything to Sayyids. We'd be ruined. We'd have the curse of Allah on us. Okay, so now I end here. Oh, I'm live also. And... Uh, Please go back to, to verses Surah Juma. What I, I show and I do myself, see myself, and then go and see if the believe in Allah and this honor and it doesn't come to worship. Exalt messenger morning and evening. You, he just did not put it in words. And who is now special, excluded, Surah Juma. So better end with this ayat. Surah, please, all these years, um, how he scared these poor Christians. Surah Juma. I keep forgetting the ayat number. He blamed the Christians. He blamed the Christians. He, okay, he blamed the Christian. That is the bounty of Allah. See, I got this shiver when, you know, this Shia tell me on Facebook that your voice, I just want to hear. I get shudders. So that's why I also am changing my accent. Okay, the example of those who are interested, not this one. Six, I six. Say, oh, now they are blamed. First they were blamed that uh, they could not, they did not carry on their duty about this religion, the law of Moses. And the evil is the similar to the people who falsify the signs of Allah. And Allah guides not the people who do wrong. Now, 
here in this verse blame Jews again Surah Juma ayat 6 say O oh, you who are Jews if you claim that you are allies of Allah if you claim that you are allies of Allah Zaamtum annakum awliya'u lillahi of Allah lillahi lillahi Allah lillahi oh of Allah lillahi from Min. excluding annasi the people annasi oh how he really showed the Jews now you know what everyone against the Jews he said but those people polity is very very wise Christians too they're looking at each other the likeness of uh, Jesus is the likeness of Adam <laughs> Oh, sorry. Back to this verse. Excluding the other people, then wish for death if you should be truthful. <laughs> wish for... He's asking them to kill themselves. I mean, wish for death from Allah? No, he's not asking them. If this is a death wish. Then express your desire for death. Express it. To whom should they express it? But they will not wish for it, ever. Oh, Allah is going to. Come on, Allah. I wish for death here. I wish for death. Because I say Jews claimed rightly nothing against the Quran. In their time, this Abrahamic religion is, this is the style of this Abrahamic religion. So come on, wish for death. Come on, I wish for death. I wish, come on, hit me, Allah, hit me with death. Give me death right now. This is what I wish. Right now. No death coming? Time. I salute you. Yeah, excluding the other people. Yeah, I say no one. Why? Jews say it, and even your Prophet Muhammad say it. Okay? Lana Lalek. I just use the style on Muhammad and his progeny. Maybe I finish in one year like the Christians. Madness. Even those poor Christians don't have that madness. Wise, be wise and sensible. Like Miss Dissa, stupid, foolish. Okay, thank you. I'm finishing this and uploading this video on YouTube. Thank you, Facebook. <laughs>